Good evening, folks. This is Alex Landefeld with Cooking Alex, the irreverent, but not irrelevant, YouTube cooking show. Hey, uh, so this is uh, uh, December 26th, 2011, uh, so you might say this is the holiday show. There's a uh, Christmas tree right here beside me, and you'll see Santa Claus in a moment. Um, but uh, just getting back into the Cooking Alex thing here, I found a tripod, I found a camera, and I found me. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, so I've uh, been cooking here, uh, beginning a stir-fry type thing, although I'm using water, so uh, purists out there will tell me it's not really a stir-fry, it's more of a, I don't know, stir-boil. Um, but uh, just a couple things I want to talk about today quickly. So this, this is a, uh, um, uh, the primary ingredient here is going to be rutabaga. Uh, R-U-T-A-B-A-G-A. -A -A. It's kind of an inter interesting vegetable. I think it might be in the radish family. Anybody want to let me know if that's correct or not? Uh, anyways, uh, a friend of mine uh, named uh, uh, Deborah Uttenreiter, um, who runs a company called Life Fuel Health Coaching here in Pittsburgh. Um, uh, and you can, you can reach her at uh, uh, life, lifefuelhealthcoaching.com. It's a mouthful, but it's a good, uh, good website. Anyways, Deborah's been helping me uh, learn a little bit about uh, nutrition uh, because I've recently, within the last uh, eight or nine weeks, become a vegan or trying to become a vegan. Um, uh, holiday cookies and things like that have led me astray a little bit, but I'm trying to get back on track here. Anyways, uh, so uh, uh, she, she's helping me review what my diet and uh, uh, get me onto a, a proper nutritional path. Anyways, so that's... Deborah Utenreiter here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, just Google uh, U, her last name is U T U T T E N R E I T H E R. Anyways, um, one other thing I want to touch base on is a cookbook that I'll be using this year called Vegan with a Vengeance. Uh, and this cookbook is comes to me from a uh, uh, a friend who's uh, hopefully going to do some cooking with me at some point. Um, and it's a really interesting read, a very interesting book. Um, just lots of very interesting recipes in there. Anyways, uh, let's look at the what's cooking today. And that happens to be this rutabaga over here in the um, induction cooktop. So we have uh, um, the rutabaga cooking here. Um, I have it again cooking in water. Excuse my reach here. A little more water in there. Trying to keep it from burning, and of course, uh, as I was talking there, it burned a little bit. So currently, I have the uh, um, I have the rutabaga in there, and I have uh, I've cut up a uh, for color um, uh, a bit of a, uh, a reddish orangish uh, pepper, just a, a, a mild pepper, and put that in there. without slicing my fingers off here. Okay. Now I thought one other thing I'd like to add in there, the rutabaga was, uh, I wasn't sure what the flavor would be. I've never really cooked or eaten rutabaga uh, by choice here. Um, and uh, one thing I wanted to add to it, I think, was maybe a bit of radish. So I'm going to uh, look in the fridge here, see where I may have squirreled away those radishes. Embarrassing when the cook can't find his uh, things. Ah, the cook is not totally lost. Let's see how we're doing with time here. Um, four minutes, okay. Just about where we want to be for the limit. Um, so these are just uh, some small radishes. Um, now I'm going to quickly cook one up and throw it in. Put that down in the chair. So cut off the ends. Maybe I should wash it a little bit. Try 
probably chop it up, up a bit for to get it to release its flavor a little more quickly. There's that radish and I'll stir it in. One of the problems with that induction cooktop is it easily turns off. Um, so stir in that radish, and um, typical cooking for me is I, I don't really add any spices. Um, just going for the, the, the general feel of the uh, dish. I am going to add in one thing, and I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't really mess up the flavor too much. Um, where is that? Just I'll have to open a new jar. Uh, just the green curry. Um, and here's the uh, uh, green curry. I don't know if you can see the label in the light here. Probably not. Oh, you know what I don't have is a bunch of lights on. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's cool. So that's green curry. Just add a little, a little bit of that in. Now, most people will serve this sort of thing over rice, but I tend to add my rice. Uh, it's been cooked. I cooked up some long grain wild rice with, uh, uh, with uh, some quinoa, and I'm just going to pop that in there. Because I like all my tastes together. I don't necessarily like to uh, separate my tastes. And this way also I can then package uh, all of this together uh, for a, uh, let me move the chair away, uh, for lunches later in the week. So I can make maybe five or six lunches from this, throw them in the freezer, and uh, those will be ready for lunches throughout the week. Because clearly, one person is not going to eat all this in one night. Okay, so that's uh, what we'll call uh, the uh, rutabaga and rice stir-fry. Although, I'm using again, I'm using water and no oil here. So that, that's just the final preparation with the rice thrown in. Etc. Okay. So, uh, this is Alex with Cooking Alex. Uh, look for me on YouTube, uh, the uh, Cooking Alex uh, YouTube channel. Um, have a great end of 2011, and I'll see you sometime in 2012.